Hello everyone, so this is my dog Drama right over there. He was in the hospital a week ago because he, um, I believe he aspirated and then he couldn't catch his breath and he needed oxygen. And the doctors very quickly within three days wanted me to say my goodbyes to him. Um, when all he really needed was, you know, some oxygen um, and some antibiotics, but they just already were giving up on him. So I wasn't going to because I knew he was doing better. And so I decided to make my own oxygen, giving him oxygen myself at home where he would be better. And it's very difficult to find, but I want to let you guys know what I did. So first thing I did is we bought some material uh, made of polycarbonate, which is much thicker and more durable than plexiglass. So it's called polycarbonate. You can go places and they will actually um, cut it for you. So I made this 48 inches deep by um, 31 inches wide. And what I did was we bought, so we put some, uh, we just bought separate pieces, put it together with this uh, weather stripping and hooked it together with these clips like this. Then we made different size holes ranging from a half an inch to uh, one and a half inches on the sides and you can see it's on the bottoms and also it's on the top okay so so you can see we have those for many reasons um, and part of these are one is we have oxygen sensor this is actually a uh, temperature gauge um, and it's also a pulse oximeter so you can check your dog's pulse uh, pulse ox oximetry and see if he has getting good oxygen um, second thing is I got an oxygen meter. This is very hard to find because most oxygen meters go between, they read only up to 25% oxygen because we actually in normal air it's about 21%. So uh, this has to measure up to 60% oxygen which is what he was in. So this actually goes up to 100% and I had to get this. Now I'll put the links for where I bought all this stuff so you can easily find out where to get it. It took me forever to find. Um, so. Um, this is actually the oxygen sensor, which actually goes bad after like a year or two. So I did not open it yet. And these are two one inch hole openings that we're gonna be using for pumping in AC inside because it gets very hot in here. Um, and so you have to control the temperature and so you can pump in AC. I have a portable air conditioner that I'm gonna run two pipes into uh, these one inch holes to um, put in AC when required. So this is the oxygen uh, monitor. And then over here, I have a CO2 monitor. So the biggest thing we're concerned about is whether or not, you know, he could, the carbon dioxide could stay in here because it'll float to the bottom because oxygen uh, is lighter. But the problem is that with CO2, um, you gotta make sure it's, it escapes. So what we did is we built a false bottom. So you can see right here, we put two pieces of plywood over here, okay, about 14.75 inches wide by 48 inches deep. I just got some four by fours in here and I put it all along so that we could raise it up. And as you can see, there's some room over here, right? There's room here so you can you know, the, C, the, the CO2 will come out through here. And we got these oxygen crystals too. Because you just open this up and it will automatically absorb the CO2. Um, so that's another fail safe. So not only will we have some ventilation out here for it to go out, but we have a gap, we have a gap over here for the CO2 to come out. And um, th those crystals will help absorb the CO2. And what we did is we bought this uh, pet bed which is a cooling pet bed. And it actually has gel packs that go all the way inside of here. So it'll cool down your dog on his uh, paws um, if it gets really hot. So you can do that. I put, we also put these refrigerator flaps. So it's just, um, you know, some vinyl that we put over here so that when you open up the door, the, the oxygen won't just escape, right? So it'll just stay like this, okay? And then we can shut it. I'm putting another vinyl flap with Velcro all over here to seal it. 
So when it's shut, that's how it'll seal, okay? But you can see, I also had to get a, um, a oxygen compressor, and that's that. And so it'll pump in the oxygen over here. And this is how I check the temp how much, uh, this is actually a, a monitor that tells you if you're above or below, and it'll set alarms. So if it goes above or below, you can make adjustments accordingly. But it's very important because these are, um, have an alarm system, which is very important to keep monitoring. So this is the setup I made. It took a while because I had to find all these parts and pieces, but it can be done, and you can do it within a few days if you put your mind to it. And I will give you links as to you know where to buy all this stuff. And bear in mind, you will also need, because you're at high oxygen levels, you will need to make sure that you use uh, get, have a uh, a uh, fire extinguisher right nearby you. And I also put it on top of this rubber because if you have any kind of uh, static electricity, even you know so it could ignite, and you don't want it to have that happen. So that's why we put rubber. We put it on a rubber mat so that anybody who comes here will have to step on that first. Um, and then I got these from Home Depot. These little rubber stoppers, which would these rubber stoppers here, of all different sizes, that will help plug the gap. So I'll tell you where I got all the parts to make it easy for you. And uh, certainly let me know if you have any questions. Hope your dog doesn't have to go through this because mine did recover, as you can see. But they still tell me he may need oxygen. So I have it all ready to go when he needs it. Okay, thank you. And best of luck.